Race number seven. This is the uh, the Dardo Tantrum. Uh, we've got two dollars, two dollars even. I think contributor. Oh, dollar eighty. It's into now. Contributor. Yeah, uh, Mourinho, one of our favourites, <laughs> uh, seven dollars, and uh, look, it's pretty much, yeah, it's seven dollars the rest. So um, let's chat about contributor. What are we thinking? Oh, well, looks like a pretty good scenario for him to just post a first up win. Like, yeah, and I no think prices for tipping him, is he? No, there's no. not. He's um, for those who sort of haven't had a good look back at contributors last form, uh, last season, last campaign. A lot of slowly run races and he just had a dynamic sprint yeah and um does that look like it's going to happen again oh no the cleaner's here so the cleaner so is, it, is this a question mark then getting him off the bit for the first time <sighs> <laughs> i can't see it is the cleaner with us though has the cleaner been the same cleaner since that mm. or did the cox plate sort of um well no i think he went off a bit towards yeah. in the last prep yep but I know he didn't go quick first up, but he still was in the finish. You're right in the finish, yep. So, like, we can't say anything so we're happy about to say him. the cleaner's back to his best. Yep. Right. So, I suppose, I mean, if people want to... Um, well, I'll you, you, you can put together a case here yeah. where the cleaner dr drags him out at five or six lengths above. Yep. You know, Kenja Wood and Mourinho go with him. Yep. And they get contributor off the bit and... You know, he falls to pieces. Yeah. I just can't see it happening. Yeah. Personally, I think he's got too much on them. He's just yeah. too good for them. So okay. I think he'll because when when they try and take off, I think he'll just mosey up behind them on the bit and pull out and just mm. round them up. So so for the, all those punters watching us right now, they're probably this is the horse they want to watch all day. But from a professional punter's point of view, would you get involved in this race? Because no. Any advice? There we go. No, no. So everyone wants to sort of jump in, but you're saying it's so obvious he must, he yeah. could be better than him, or he is better than him. He is better than him. But it's a scenario. They've just, they've just priced him correct pretty defensively. Like the, a lot of the really big pros do, they they try him in at this sort at of price least. range and heavily. Yep. So if it's over the odds, they'll do that. Yep. Whatever and, their system says. Yeah. Well, and they. Because they bet so big, they tend to not leave any stone unturned. Yeah, for sure. And they find out, they'll know exactly how fit this horse is. I would imagine he's very fit, like he's ready to go. So, yeah. trialing well. Yeah, well, not just the trials, they yeah. have to put enough sort oh, of yeah. long. Because if you could just spot it off the trials, well, then I'd know, and I'd know, because if he's. It's not a hundred percent fit, but if he's like you know, like he could be a dollar sixty chance here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I would think that the really big pros will make him a dollar sixty chance. Yeah, well, it's it's every so, chance he is a dollar sixty and and less. You know. However, need... if he starts to get the wobbles and they're not interested, yeah, it's because the stables have been mm. aren't quite right. Whatever. And then he'll start two twenty, and he'd be a big risk. So to me, this is just a no bet race. It's just a, yep. I'll watch this race. And, and is this sort yeah. of this is the sort of first headline horse that uh, Godolphin have sent down there for this the start of the carnival, I suppose. Hartnell resumes in Sydney. Yep. Yeah. So yep. interesting to I, see. I, the, the, and the like last year, September comes around and the blue mm. colours come good. So yep. they were winning races in Sydney last week. I was underestimating them and. Uh, uh, winning races or in the finishing races in Melbourne, they were just you know, they they seem to struggle every July and August, and as soon as September arrives, they're back in business. So yeah. uh, I, I think they'll be hard to beat and everything they target. Yeah, okay. And who who's got the ride? Is, is James back or is he? Uh, Dwayne Dunn. Dwayne. Dwayne Dunn. And James is still. There you um, go. Whatever. Yeah. Mourinho runs second. Loves Mooney Valley. The cleaner and Kenja with the fight out third with Dibiani. So. Okay. There you go, they can have a first four or something, I don't know. I won't, <laughs> I won't be, no interest to me, into, from a bet, a really interesting race to watch. Yeah. I enjoy watching it. Yeah, for sure. And I'll even enjoy watching the betting there. Yeah. I think the betting will be interesting to see what the really big players do, but um, okay. um, to me there's just no cop in it getting involved. Okay.